Shifting gears, North Korea is claiming that it test fired a solid fueled hypersonic missile on Sunday. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Kim Jong shil explains why it's a threat not only to South Korea, but also to the U.S. Experts in South Korea are warning that North Korea's solid fueled hypersonic IRBM test on Sunday was a direct threat to not only South Korea, but also the U.S. and other countries in the region. The development of a hypersonic missile is aimed at targeting areas where North Korea cannot penetrate the defense network. The main targets will be U.S. military bases within a range of about 1,000 to 3,000 kilometers. Another thing to pay attention to, according to Korea Defense and Security Forum senior researcher Shin jong woo is that Pyongyang used a solid-fueled engine for its IRBM. South Korea has something called kill chain system that aims to preemptively strike North Korea if it shows signs of launching a missile. But North Korea is transitioning from liquid fuel to solid fuel engines so that it can launch missiles quickly without them being detected. On Monday, the South Korean military announced that the missile flew about 1,000 kilometers before falling into the East Sea. It added that it's in close communication with the U.S. and Japan after the three countries began sharing real-time information on North Korean missile launches beginning in December. As to the motivation behind the launch, one could be Pyongyang's desire to bolster its military presence in the region. North Korea is showing that uh, their brand new weapon systems are not just for show, but in fact they are operationally uh, capable and Therefore, they are real threats to South Korea and the United States and other countries in the region. Another expert, Professor Park won gon of EY Women's University, also said that North Korea's ultimate goal in conducting these types of tests is to be acknowledged by the U.S. as a nuclear state. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.